Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you. Today we're going to be doing a realities of being a young adult video. And I just want to clarify, I did steal this video idea from Kirby is a Boss on YouTube. She is one of the greatest YouTubers, one of the first ones I ever started watching, and she's a Christian YouTuber, so that makes her even better. So I'm going to link her video down below so that you can see it, because that's kind of where I got the inspiration for this video. But without further ado, let's just jump right on into this video. thing that is a reality of being a young adult. I have five things. First thing is it is okay to not know what you're doing with your life because honestly none of us do. We're all just winging it here. We're all just trying to figure out what we want in life and what we want to do and I feel like there's a lot of pressure to know what you want to do especially when you're in college. Granted for the most part I feel like people should be figuring that out in high school but you're not going to know 100% what you want to do at the age of 17 or 18 whenever you graduate. So don't put that pressure on yourself. Give yourself some grace because honestly, I had no idea that this is where my life would end up at the time I was 19. And I didn't even know this was coming. So just give yourself some grace. Allow God to change your plans because that definitely will happen. I promise you just because... We can't control what's going to happen in our lives, so just chillax, don't worry about it, and just be okay with not knowing what the heck's going on. The second thing is life is expensive, okay? When you're a young adult, obviously you might be trying to move out or trying to go to college or you have a job and you start paying bills, and honestly, life is so expensive and it shocks me sometimes when my mom tells me this is how much your phone bill is and I'm just like <sighs> and it's just stressful and honestly I am stressed out about it sometimes however I'm trying to let the Lord handle it so it's gonna be okay but that is definitely something that is a reality that you don't expect when you become a young adult so save your money now if you can if you're in high school and you're watching this save money do it you're going to be thankful later i promise you third thing i'm going to talk about is this is the time to learn about you and i know that there's a lot of pressure to get married and to have kids and just to move on with your life and get on to the next step because a young adult that age group is kind of a weird in-between stage. You're not really a teenager, but you're not really an adult. So I can understand that you just want to move on to the next season of your life and get started. However, I don't think that this season should be taken for granted. This age group is an awesome age group where we are totally learning about us. And I think that we should take advantage of that because I have learned so much about myself ever since I graduated high school. Like... One of the things I've learned about myself is I'm actually an extrovert introvert. So I'm mainly an extrovert. Like I do love being around people. And when I'm not, I can feel that hole in my heart. However, I'm also an introvert and I do love my alone time. So I'm kind of 50-50. I'm not totally one or the other. And I used to think I was only an extrovert. I only hung out with people. I literally hung out with people from morning till night every day in high school. But now I don't do that and I actually like that type of lifestyle. I like being by myself, going to coffee by myself, driving by myself is my favorite. I love driving by myself and I love commuting and all of that, which I have done for school. So that's something I've learned about myself. So if you're a young adult, take advantage of this time. This is the prime time, baby. This is a time that you can learn about you and how God created you. So don't let it pass you by. Number four, your life doesn't have to look like other people's lives. And I think I talked about this on my channel before where my life hasn't looked like the people that I graduated with. And that is totally okay. And that's what it's supposed to be like. If you look at the people you graduated with, there's going to be people that are married, that are having kids, that are going to college. 
some of them that aren't doing anything, but there's going to be all types of people doing different things. And it is so easy, especially with social media, to compare our lives to other people's. I definitely did that the first couple months that I graduated. I just was chilling at home, being sad, and I was just looking at other people's lives and wishing that I was out doing college things and having fun. But honestly, we're all on our own journeys. The Lord has different plans and ideas for each and every one of us. So we don't have to compare ourselves to one another because it's not going to look the same. So that's my encouragement for that one is don't compare yourself to other people. Last one, number five, taking care of yourself is essential. And I feel like there's pressure when you're a young adult to just grind and just go, 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 whether that's working out and going to school and working and hanging out with people. And it's just exhausting. And we tend to neglect ourselves, which is not good to do. And self-care I know is like a trend right now, but it's more than just face masks and bubble baths and all those things. Those things are great, but self-care can be actually working on yourself, giving yourself space to figure out who you are and those types of things, whether that's going on a walk or going on a drive or going on a trip by yourself, just doing things by yourself and giving yourself space to be you without any other people. I feel like that's important for everybody, whatever that looks like for you. Self-care looks different for everybody. So that is something that we definitely can figure out now as we're figuring out who we are. We can figure out the ways that we take care of ourselves and the ways that we can refuel and refresh our souls. So that is the last point that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and let me know of any other video ideas you like to see from me because I love to do this for you. That's it. I'll see you guys next Saturday. Bye guys!